Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I just did a video on this yesterday, and I said in that video that I would redraw this front of this engine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move some stuff out of the way just to get it out of the way. Ah, I wish I had those grouped together, but easily enough. This is a good, would be a good tool for the uh, freehand pick tool. You can just lasso everything you touch with the lasso is going to go away. Then you can still use it as a pick tool. I don't have to get all this out of the way, but I'm here. I might as well. And then I should group it all together. So what you could do, you could take the, the text, nudge it up. I do not like the freehand pick tool when you're not using it. Then go ahead and go group and group that together. That way that's all together. Now, I would not mess with the entire motor or the engine. I am going to turn everything into a hairline. And you can see the line. So instead of messing with the entire unit, I'm going to take these parts and nudge them out of the way. Because I don't want to mess with them. Because I discovered yesterday when I was doing this. Now this is going to take away quite a bit. Nah, that's pretty good. I noticed yesterday uh, this has a bunch of double lines. You know what I'm going to also do? I'm going to go in and take away that. Whoop, that's too much. See, that's all kind of connected. But we're going to get around that. Uh, and if you like this shape, and this is where I think there's some double lines. No, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take one of these that I think looks the best. And instead of ungrouping them, I'm going to just take the smart fill tool and fill that in and then move that over. Now I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key and I'm going to delete these. And I'm going to delete all these and delete that and delete that. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can delete. Well, I was afraid of that. Uh, we can always fix that. Um, well, what we could do is try taking a two-point line and connecting right to there to there, and then see if we can't delete that, and we can. That's just an extra line. I kind of like the shape of this and all this other stuff. Um, I'm not so sure about this right here. So what I'm going to do, whenever you grab some nodes, you can just delete them and delete these two. And then when you got a, I call that a whoop de do just grab the two that are causing the whoop de do and go right-click your mouse and hit, turn that into a line. Because I really, I kind of like that shape. Um, you know, with that said, no, I don't. Let's try this. Let's take the shape tool and right-click on that node and break it apart. And then I could take this line and cut it out. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So now what I'm going to do, matter, matter of fact, I'm going to get a, take my shape tool. I'm going to delete these two nodes. And I'm going to grab this node and I'm going to bring it down. Then I'm going to get my two point line. And I'm going to move this all the way. Well, I'm going to go here and then back up to there. So I'm kind of creating that effect. Now, later on, we probably need to turn this into a, a thicker than a hairline. I'm going to try to smart fill it, and it fills in, so I'm going to move it over. I'm going to move it down so it won't be in the way of that. And I'm going to left-click, right-click. And what that did, that gave me a good, solid um, border. Matter of fact, I'm going to go in and delete this border. Perfect. So what it did when I smart filled that, that put all that stuff together. I really wish I could get rid of this. And you know, I think I can. Let's try, let's try this. I've never really done this before. Let's take a two point line and go right there and see if we can't delete this. Nope. And I hate to, um, See, if I fill it in, uh, I'm afraid that's going to mess something up. 
So what we can do is because we've got some nodes, we could delete nodes. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. That's pretty good. Now I can take my virtual segment elite key and delete these lines. This is working out perfect. Okay. Now there's several things we could do. Let's nudge this back up. And before we forget, see, it's kind of the same shape. I'm going to make it something other than a hairline so it will engrave. Now we need to make those fins or those. So I'm going to nudge this right back over. And at this time, you can kind of just move it around and change it. Uh, I'm going to put it a little bit different angle. Whoop. You know, that's a good thing. I can delete those lines. Well, you know what? Since they're a hairline, let's see what happens when we make them something other than a hairline. Yeah, that'll work. So, a couple of trains of thought to do something like this. You could blend this, but it might be, now I'm having trouble grabbing that. So, I'm going to go up to object order back a page. That way I can grab that. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate. And I'm just going to move it over and down a little bit and then control D, control D, control D. I think that looks a lot better. Now I'm going to shift select. See it? You know what? For a second, I'm going to nudge that out of the way. And I'm going to. Let's see if we can't just shift select. I'm going to shift select. So now you see I got four objects. I'm going to control G to group. I'm going to control D to duplicate and mirror them the other way. And then I'm going to put them over here. And see, they're kind of going down. And I, let me move this box back. Yeah, there's the original. So I need to put one more. But that's easily said. Easily done. And these are a little bit on the line. And because I grouped them, let me move that out of the way for a second. I'm going to move them up a little bit and then move this back. And really, when that thing's away, we could kind of straighten that stuff up. But I think it looks pretty good. And then, uh, you know what? I'm just going to move it to the back of the page. Don't show me this again. And then I can grab that one. Hit the plus key, mirror it, and just move it over. I think that looks, and you could actually put some shorter ones down there uh, if you wanted to. Um, I really think it'd be better if we got rid of the, and I'm going to move this out of the way so I can work on it. There's the old one. So let me move it to the other side. And let's just change this up. Let's, I like working with a hairline, so let's make it a hairline. And let's take a, tell you what we can do, get the shape tool. You know what? I've never really done this. Well, let's try this. Right click and break apart. Then anything you delete, it'll only go that far. I think this will be perfect. I don't want that. I really don't want any of this. I don't want that. And we'd want to somewhat make it symmetrical. So what I'm going to do now is take, uh, let's try this. Let's use the three-point curve line and go from there to there and give a little bit of a curve. Now here, let's take away a few more nodes. Whoop, went too far. I just want to get rid of that node right there. And since we have everything broken apart, um, you know, this will be a very good way to make this symmetrical. Let's uh, go up to object and uh, tell you what, let's break the curve apart, then go up to object and group it together. Now, I don't know where the center of the page is, and I can't really, 
Well, I'll be able to move it. I'm just going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And I want to make both these sides equal. So I'm going to take a two-point line and hit P. And see, I can just delete this side. And those are all the broken lines. But make sure you get them all. You could also use the shape tool to just take away note. Okay, because the line stopped it. And we got a little bit of a jig right there. Uh, we could leave or take it away. Let's just leave it. Then take away your line. Go control G to group, control D to duplicate, and get the two sided cross. Now you're equal, but we're short in the middle. So we'll just take a, remember I grouped them together. So we've got to go to object group. Whenever you cannot grab something with a shape tool, it's because it's in a group. This isn't going to really make it non-symmetrical. Um, I think those are touching. So just in case it leaks, what I would do is take a rectangle, fill this in and see, well, it didn't leak. Good. So now what I can do is I can nudge this thing over pretty far, but because I moved it, um, I can left click, right click, make sure it's something other than a hairline. And let's just put it and just move it manually. See how much better that looks? how symmetrical it is. And because it's not a hairline, it only it will engrave. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.